Hello and welcome to your drum lesson for Thursday. Now, as I mentioned in the end of the last video, because some drumsticks, didn't mention that in the end of the last video, but I had some drumsticks. Now, we are looking at subdividing beats. Now, I know as a drummer, it's something that you do all of the time. And we're going to be using a metronome today, as I've mentioned in the past, met, you know, practicing along with the metronome, working on that timing is very important, but also then working on subdivisions when using a metronome is also good for you as a drummer. That's good for any musician, but it's even better for you as a drummer. Okay, so I have got the online metronome, which is called metronomeonline.com. We have used it at school. Just press play. We have it set at 60 beats per minute. You can set it at whichever tempo you feel comfortable with. And throughout doing this exercise and through developing your drumming and your timing and your subdivision or subdividing of the beats skills, you will be working on increasing the beats per minute. OK, so what we're going to be looking at, get myself nice and comfy, is initially crotchets. So you have the one stroke per beat. If you have it solid within one hand, within your right hand, if that's your main hand, then focus that little bit more with your left and focus on the movement of the wrist. OK. Then when we subdivide the beat into quavers and it's into two equal parts, you can use one hand at first. So we're playing one and two and three and four hand change. One and two and three and four and. Okay? Making sure you've got your bounce. Now, what you can do instead of doing it with just the one hand, you can do it alternating. So starting right, left, and then left, right as you know from all the previous training and with the rudiments that you've done. So one, two, three, four. And we're not putting any accents on as yet. Just listening to the metronome and keeping perfectly in time. Well, I say perfectly, as close as you can. Okay, and then left to right. Because you want to get used to starting with the opposite hand. Now, our next subdivision is semiquavers, where we split the beat into four equal parts. Okay, so we'll start with the right and just use the right stick for now. So you're working on that rebound. to the left. And then you can change. And trying different things out, just making sure that you're staying on time. Now, let's just pause that for a moment. What you could also do is take the rudiments that you know and mix those up. So you could start off with your double stroke roll at first, doing crotchets. No, I'm not doing crotchets. We'll start with a single stroke, doing crotchets. And alternating the hands. Then we can go into the double stroke roll. And that was too fast. It's a bit awkward doing that one at that speed. It's good to practice it though.
them back to single stroke, but we're going to do it in the same equations. Trying to get it correct straight away. Bit awkward, but I'm not a drummer. You are. And then changing from your single stroke to your double stroke without skipping a beat. Okay. You do that for a little bit, and what we're going to do is we're going to increase the tempo. We're going to take it up to 80 beats per minute. So there we go. And do the same again. First crotchets, just a right hand, then left. Semi quavers, organ quavers. semi quavers okay and one last little one for yourself we've got the of the instrument with the other instruments try and get my words out let's stop that for a moment I've just covered the crotchet the quaver and the semi quaver but we're going to be looking at the quaver triplet where you split one beat into three equal parts okay but the way it would be written down is you would have three semi quavers in the space of two okay we'll cover that when we get back to school so what we have if i play the metronome is this One two three, 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 one two three. Okay. All right. So let's just put those down there. So when you're practicing those, you can do the same things I did. But another good thing is all the different rudiments that you already know, and hopefully you may have done more while you're at home or from your drum teacher, if you still have those lessons, and mix and match them around. Okay, so you practice it separately, then you can mix and match it by working all the way around your drum kit, making it nice and easy and the movements flow. Okay, all right, so hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next video next week. Take care. Goodbye.